so for me coming and sitting in my garden weather permitting of course we don't always have the luxury of having nice weather i love sitting in the garden in the morning having a cup of coffee i get up i get dressed and now i face on i carry on as much as possible as normal so it's answers and what i also do is i just sit and i listen so obviously it's i can hear the traffic going past because we live um, on a road well we live on a really nice estate but we live by a main road that's next to that next to where we live so we can hear traffic anyway but it's nice just to sit in the garden have a brew take the morning in listen to the birds singing listen to the world waking up the sun is shining we've been blessed with some amazing weather lately i like to try and spot where the birds are as well i'd be grateful i mean look let me see it's not gonna let me turn the camera around but if i turn it around like that you can see like my garden and like, i'm gonna peg the washing out i'm gonna get a few bits and pieces done and this is like where i'm sat here the bits of willow and things that you can see there from when my son made a guard, made a den. So I've got a bench down the bottom of the garden. I like to sit there and chill. And it's the only shady spot in the garden when the sun's out as well. So it's nice to sit down there because my garden just gets the sun all day long. It's such so grateful for the sun there because people's mood just lifts completely when it's sunny. I don't know if you find that. Find out when the weather is like grey and miserable, your mood like goes. <sighs> So what you have to do is you have to flip it around you have to appreciate the rain be grateful for the rain know that it will pass it's good for the garden it keeps the plants and the trees fed and nourished it keeps your grass green you know as much as we all love that big yellow ball in the, in the sky if we had it every day we just take it for granted so we just appreciate it more when it's around something else that i do is i do affirmations as well and i find affirmations and start your morning off the right way and I do those in a mirror so I'll go into my bathroom or something or wherever my mirror is I might sit there with my phone sometimes if I don't want to go into the bathroom and stand in and say things it took me a long time to really with the traffic going past really appreciate myself and come to understand myself and love myself and tell myself that I love you you're amazing you are beautiful you are wonderful you know, you are capable of so much more and you are worthy because you are. And if you say these things to yourself on a daily basis, then you will really, really will believe them. It wasn't so long ago that I couldn't even bear to look at myself, couldn't even bear to look at my, my face or what. I mean, I've obviously got no makeup on this morning, just that I come on like this because this is me, you know. I have. A thyroid function problem i'm borderline lupus so my eyebrows and my hair and things fall out really easily but yeah we get on with it we make the best of what we've got and we keep going so no matter what's going on around you no matter what people say to you don't lose heart don't lose courage keep on smiling keep on laughing keep on enjoying those extra time and that extra moments that you've been given with your family Keep on talking to people, keep those lines of communication open, and most of all, believe in yourself, because you can do anything. This top was my firewalk top. Yes, I'm a crazy lady that walked on fire, but it was amazing. It's one of the best things I've ever done, and I will take those memories with me forever. I can walk on fire, I can do absolutely anything, and so can you. So just believe in yourself, take care, have an amazing day. Look after yourself and please subscribe to the channel video and I will get back to each and every one of you. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Stay positive and keep on smiling. Love to you all. Bye bye.